I just had like a great, great um, idea. So we're gonna do this in the in the this order, okay? So first we're gonna do Freddy Falls Bear. Then we're gonna do um, the Grabber, and then Megan. And uh, let's start. And why not? Why not? We're gonna start this. Halloween season with a bang because we're gonna listen to some Aaron Fraser Nash and yo my my my, my bees so go follow Aaron Fraser Nash subscribe to him because he he really is good with his work he's great at grinding with these songs yo they're so dope they're so freaking dope he takes every single hit movie that we watch right and he turns it into a song that is that has emotion. It, it's he is really good, yo. He's really good at it. So, all right. I know what time it is, my bees. So we're gonna go straight into Frey Fosbear first. If I can find him. Oh no. Okay, maybe I can't find him. Uh oh. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Where the hell? Did it, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, where is... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Where is he? Oh, wait, 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 I think. Right here. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, Aaron Frozen Ash, let's see what you got, man. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Also, guess what? I got that dip again. The... description of these videos man um also 
I really like how he just like every single time when Aaron Fraser Nash works, he he picks this really great beat with the with the song that he's doing for the these characters. It's it, it's amazing, yo. All right. So now that we got that done, we can find the grabber because he is getting a sequel, yo. He is getting a sequel, and I can't wait. So let's see if I can find him. Ba -ba 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 -up -up -up. Also, I've already listened to Art the Clown and uh, Grim Cuddy's song sings. Those were good, good one, Aaron Fraser Nash. Good one. Oh my God. I'm telling you, my is the way Aaron Fraser Nash works. It's amazing. Aaron Fraser yeah. Nash only makes original songs now. So, go and follow him on Spotify. And while he's at it, follow him on Instagram and TikTok as well. Okay, to man. see his real, okay, boring life. Or I will eat you. Now, like and subscribe. Here we go. I'm telling you, my bees, this guy is good at what he does. Like, really, he really is good at what he does. Like, yo, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, like, he made an Uncle Ben song, which was super freaking emotional, yo. And it makes sense because it's for Spider Man No Way Home, but the way he wrote that song was so beautiful, so emotional, as Fuck. And it makes sense because, yo, the, the, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man first movie and the Maze of Spider-Man, yo, you use, oh my god, yo. Alright, last song, Making Sings a Song, let's get straight to it. I think I heard this one. So, I wouldn't mind re-watching this one because this one's fire, yo. Straight fire. Nash only makes original songs now. 
now. So, go and follow him on Spotify, and while you're at it, follow him on Instagram and TikTok as well, to see his real, boring life, or I will eat you. Now, like and subscribe. <laughs> Song by Jenny Jones. Jenny Jones has a great voice, yeah. recommend for Megan is the unrated version, okay? Because what, you, listen, the PG-13, that has nothing on freaking the unrated version, son. I, I'm telling you that right now. Because the unrated version, you if you guys haven't, go check my Facebook uh, means re reacting to the movie because the things that I the things that they were shown on the unrated version of Megan's movie oh my god like oh my yo in the PG-13 movie the PG-13 version you see the the kids ears 
Mr. like Fantastic Four, like Mr. Fantastic, right? But no, 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 not the unrated version sign. They said n no, like the Peacock when they released the unrated version, they said no, nope, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing the stretchy shit anymore. My, like seriously, this is this was me, right? When I was watching it, right? And when I was on that part, this was me, like this, like. Oh, okay, he's running. Oh, shh. And what they show after, remember like when he ran and then he went on to the road, right? They didn't cut back on that. They didn't cut back like they did in the PG-13 one. They showed the whole fucking thing of what happened to him. And, yo, I'm telling you, my bees, the unrated one is nuts. It's nuts. So, if you, you have it, it's on... I believe it's still on Peacock, but if it isn't... If you see at Walmart the unrated cut, the unrated version of it, grab it. Grab it. Because I, I can't believe what I saw, yo. That unrated version was way better than PG-13, yo. And if you don't believe me, go watch Struggle Nation's reaction to it, yo. I, I bet you, go watch Struggle Nation's reaction to the unrated version, man. Because I, I remember watching it, and I kind of felt bad for Jenny, the... Um, Silent Ninja. She she had to look away from the unrated version, son. Including like, I'm pretty sure like End Dog was like this, like like that. Uh, yo, the unrated version, man. Uh, Peacock did a great job, and whoever written the unrated version now, they did a great job as well with that because. I, I really did like the PG-13 one, but it, it was just... But unrated version... Oh, they knew what we wanted. They knew what we wanted. So... I'm just saying I highly recommend... Um, the unrated version. And I highly recommend the black phone... Out of the Sinister 1 and Sinister 2. Because... Uh, those movies were not good. But, but the black phone, the black phone was, that was the most greatest Scott Derrickson horror movie I, I'll ever watch, is the black phone. And then, what else? I, I can't wait for Five Nights at Freddy's the movie, man. So, this is a big, th this has to be a big shout out to him. Shout out to Aaron Fraser Nash for these three song bangers because the Megan sings a song is a great song I know I heard it once and it was really fire so I wanted to decide I decided to rewatch it again and it still flames <clears throat> and that that Frank Fosbury one I don't think I've heard that one before um, but I'm glad I finally actually did that was flames and then the the, the grabber sings a song Flames. So yeah, maybe he's like, go subscribe to Aaron Fraser Nash because he is the GOAT for movie songs, gaming songs, TV show songs. He's that GOAT. So anyway, my bees, this has been your King of Bees reacting to the uh, Fred Fosbury sings a song. The Grabber sings a song, Megan sings a song, and if you liked my reaction to Frey Fosper sings a song, The Grabber sings a song, and Megan sings a, sings a song, why not sting that subscribe button, sing that like button, sing that notification bell anytime I upload a new video, and comment down below if you really are hyped for Five Nights at Freddy's the movie, The Black Phone 2, and Megan 2.0. Because I know I am. I, I want to see how freaking aggressive Megan gets in the sequel, yo. Because now that she's in this Ellis 
thing, things are gonna go. Oh, my, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for Megan 2.0. I can't wait. So, without that said, my bees, this is your King of the Bees off this reaction video. And, and as always, stay brave and stay humble, my bees.